Hey guys, um, Cappies, we're back. So, um, apologies for that. Um, as you guys know, I have two huge dogs. There's dogs downstairs, so it's like when the barking starts, it starts. Anyways, um, let's see if we can pick up where we were. So, um, regardless of the distraction, let's put it this way, because that's what it was. It was a distraction. There's still something that things that need to get done, and they need to get done, and they need to get done, and you are aware that you need to get them done. So, this month, you are, it's kind of like your your will if it makes sense will be tested how badly do you want something how bad how, like what are you willing to put in what are you willing to put in to manifest what you're trying to manifest what are you willing to do are you are you willing to stay on track are you willing to to do what is being asked of you either by your angels, your guides, your ancestors to stay on track so that you can go ahead and finally get to that space that is way overdue for you Capricorn, completely way overdue. And yes, you have been, you have, you know, but the thing with the, well, I'm a Capricorn son. So, and one of the things is we, you know, people always say that we love to work. Yes. Work is it becomes literally like a passion. But with everything that we do, we tend to get very addicted. Um, if we start exercising, we get very addicted. If we start eating a certain way, we get very addicted. If we do this, we get very addicted. We we submerge ourselves and we give more than like a hundred percent into everything that we do. So there's an area that you have been um, afraid to blossom or afraid to be successful. So what you have been doing is um, procrastinating in certain ways because you, in the past, um, and I feel that July is going to be a huge month for Capricorns to finally release that um that feeling of what are they going to think when I achieve this type of thing, regardless of whatever it is that you're working on. It's like July is your month to stay focused, to stay determined, and not to worry about what they, the other people, the, those around you, those that doubt you, regardless of who they are. This month for you, Capricorn, it's about releasing that, finally getting over to the other side of that. Because you, again, a lot of people, you know, if you, if, if you, if you talk to anybody, you talk to a lot of Capricorns, they have been through a lot. Um, yes, they're very focused, they're very determined, but a lot of us have been dealt some cards that it's like, seriously, but it's about pushing forward and it's about why you're in that in that in that space or that energy of fear you stand up and you keep on pushing forward you do not bend you do not coward back but you keep on pushing forward keep on moving forward because you came from the past so in the past there's nothing there for you anymore you are now here in the present so whatever steps you take whatever movements you go ahead and you take forth is to align you with the future to align you with the future that you have been trying to manifest and even though the past, even though you're not there, there were a lot of little things in the past that you did that you probably don't even remember. A lot of seeds that you planted. There were a lot of things that you that you really did stay committed to. And now in July, you... July? Yes, now in July. And it's like, I want to say July because it's like from July on forward... It is all pure about manifestation, manifestation, manifestation. And it's like, and I've been saying this for a while, Capricorns, all the blessings that are coming in. But I feel that a lot of you Capricorns are finally in that place to receive, are finally in that place to receive all of these blessings. You are aligned with the frequency of the blessings that are coming towards you. Some of you are wondering, who am I going to celebrate with? Who are you going to celebrate all of this, um, all of this success, all of these blessings with? Well, my darlings, 
who was there for you during your struggles? Who was there for you during the pain and the challenges and the trials and the tribulations? Those are the ones that you are celebrating with. Now, some of you may be like, well, it was me by myself. Okay, then that is who you celebrate with. Never be embarrassed. Never be ashamed to take yourself out, to treat yourself, to, you know, enjoy a vacation by yourself, to do something for yourself. This is what this whole journey is about. It's about learning to love yourself, learning to find your own self-worth, your own self-value and to not to 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 get out of a space where you're giving away all of you with receiving nothing in return so during this month you know as all of this is going in and i mean it is not about allowing your ego to take place or to take hold because um so as as all of this is coming in and as you know the blessings are coming, manifestations are coming, and you're picking up, you know, people are talking and people are saying this and that, whatever it is. Uh, just make sure that you keep your ego um, balanced, your light and your dark balance, right? Because you don't want to go into too much into that energy of like, oh, let me show them type of thing. Because again, this is not about them, this is about you. So, excuse me always keep the focus on you why are you doing this why do you want this why do you why do you and it should not have to do with anything external to you it should have to do only about you hope that makes sense okay <clears throat> there's there's a there's a there's just an inner, like a space of like the finish line, crossing that finish line. So I don't know if any of you have ever run like a 5K or done like obstacle course and stuff like that. And it's like, if you don't learn to pace yourself when you first start and you go like full force, usually about halfway through, you start to lose that momentum. And then, you know, eventually you'll walk and then you'll start picking up again once you start to see the cross line. Um, the finish line closer. I have like I feel like I have something in my eye, but and like I'm saying because I run a few like you know throughout the past. I started running five k's, um, not consistently. Um, I did for a couple of years. I I, I ran five five k's for um about three or four years consistently, and I remember with my first one. I, I, I went and I started, I'm like running, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. And like, not even halfway through, I was just like, oh my, like, I need to stop. Like I'm out of breath type of thing because I was so excited to just finish. And I know 5Ks, you know, there's tens and there's, you know, marathons and things like that. But what I'm saying is like, the more I ran 5Ks, the more I was able to pick up on my own speed in order to keep the momentum going throughout the entire race so that I wouldn't be out of breath. So I wouldn't be, um kind of like having to stop or walk so during this month even though yes um the rest is needed but that does not mean that the month of july you just slack and you rest it means that you take your short breaks when you need them you make sure that you're scheduling if you know that you're somebody that once you get started you won't stop until you're done then make sure that you're scheduling a break halfway through or however it is that you're going to do it so that you have that time to rest now whatever it is that you choose to do while you're resting is up to you you can meditate you can go for a run you can go for a walk you can just sit down and just stare at the ceiling stare at the sky whatever it is that you are guided to do but just make sure that you are taking that rest time in between all of this work because it is going to allow you to push through that pressure that you're feeling when it comes to um spirituality or when it comes to the um, whatever it is that you got being guided to do um <clears throat> you are going to hear of um either one or two people that you are no longer connected with um, whether it's an ex or an ex friend, um, ex coworker, or whatever it is, it was somebody that when you were going through your stuff, they they rejoiced in your demise. Let's put it that way. They rejoiced in the pain, the hurt, and they rejoiced in seeing you down. And you're going to hear about what they are experiencing and what they're going through during this time. And you're going to be very tempted to want to help. And you're being asked not to. Unless 
the individuals themselves come towards you to ask for help, you are not to go and offer your help. I know that sounds like a B-I-T-C-H move, but it's the truth. Is, is what is being said. It is what I'm hearing. It is what I'm feeling. Unless they come. And then if they do come towards you asking for help, make sure that you're listening to your intuition as to what type of help you are to give. Uh, when it comes to money and finances, do not just give freely because you're going to get screwed over. I feel that it's more of helping them guiding them if it is financial issues that they're having it's about guiding them or helping them balance their own financial life versus you just fixing the problem for them um, but again you have to follow your own intuition with that i do feel that for some of you these individuals are not going to approach you they're going to send like a third person or another person to approach you to see if you're even in a space of wanting to help them to see if you're going to offer without them asking and you're being asked not to offer because again you're going to be under a lot of it, 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 there's just a lot coming in for you cappies um spiritually that you need to make sure that you're staying balanced within yourself you need to make sure that you're keeping all of your routines your physical your mental your spiritual your emotional whatever it is that you're doing whatever it is that you have been doing make sure that you continue on doing that cappies all righty somebody wants to know about an ex that they have been praying for they've been trying to manifest back into your life <sighs> The X, the X file. <sighs> Take a look of how you truly felt throughout the entire connection. And if you feel that you can live, not just with the, the, the mm -hmm. moments, the quick moments of happiness or joy but everything that transpired in that connection for whoever this is if you can live with all of that and be happy and not allow it to overtake you then when this person reaches out go ahead and be with them but if you feel that you can't live with what you, you can't go through what you went through let's say with this individual then it is time to go inward and figure out why you want this person back. And again, I feel like that's a specific message just from one person. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to use our Isis Oracle cards. I'm going to pull out card for this month, um, Capricorns. And then that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to try my best to edit the video so that it's both of them are in one video. If not, you know, it's going to be labeled Cappy 1, Cappy 2. Um... So this is the card that was in the bottom, Miracle of Isis. And I feel that Capricorns, you have been in this energy for quite some time, um, quite a while. So um, the one that was underneath it was power over seven scorpions, power to conjure lower vibrational forces. This is what you are going to be. Um, this is the energy that you're going to be um embracing or harnessing during this month capricorn you see how beautiful that picture is i'm trying to get it without a glare guys but you know what it is what it is um let's go ahead and see um sorry guys because i have my phone here um some of you want to hear about the miracle let's go ahead and read the miracle this was both cards came out but this one was um first so that's why i'm taking this one and, I, you know, you can look at it as a combination of both because you're able to do this. This is what's following through or your blessings and this. They're kind of going like hand in hand. Um, let's go ahead and see Miracle. Uh, miracle of Isis. Isis was known. They're going to start barking again. 
Isis was known as a talented practitioner of healing arts and was capable of miraculous healing. For you, beloved, she offers a miracle healing. No matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter, no matter how impossible it may have seemed to imagine your life without this old wound, addiction, problem, relationship issue, or inner struggle, being a part of it, you are guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing to let go and let the goddess be. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. No, seriously, guys. Uh, the power. <laughs> I like, this is why I do videos at night, even though it's a little darker, because there's no noise outside. And the dogs can just shh and come in the room and take a nap while mommy works. Alrighty. Power over seven scorpions. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring to have power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken words. You are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment. You can be man you can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. That is your card, Capricorns. Um, well, Cappies, that is all that I have for you for this month. As always, thank you for all the love and support. And I will see you guys back next month for the monthly readings. I'm sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care, and I love you guys. Bye-bye.